You're watching Ranch and Resort Television. Presented by United Country, hometown realtors, serving Arkadelphia, Glenwood, and the entire Hot Springs area. John's Honda of Hot Springs. Swaha Lodge and Marina on Lake Greeson. Bucks Outdoors, pro shop for fishing and hunting. Deer 365, feed your deer year round. Okay folks, welcome to the show. I think you're gonna enjoy today's show. We're with Hans Keller of Global Hunting Adventures. Now Hans, just how far north are we? Milton, we're about as far north as anybody wants to go. We're actually on uh, Banks Island, and the town is called Saks Harbor. Saks Harbor. Harbor is actually the third most northern town in the world. Well, great. We're going to be now. We're going to be doing muskox hunting, which we've never, we've never, I've never even seen one up close. And and we're going to be taking them with a bow, Keith. We're going to do muskox with a bow. We're going to do some ptarmigan with a shotgun. Uh, up here in Northwest Territories, it's cold. It's minus 40 degrees right now. The ocean is frozen behind us. As you can see, Keith's mustache is already freezing up, folks. And that is the ocean it froze over. It's been froze ever since we left. Uh, uh, what is that last time Anubic. we left? Anubic. Anubic. Yep. Been froze ever since. We see some breaks in there, which I'll see on the on the show there. Yep. But folks, stay tuned. I think you're going to really enjoy the show. Out here, nine to five is actually five to nine. The dependable, ready to ride line of utility vehicles from Honda, built to work. Get one for hunting, working, or just for play at the family owned and operated John's Honda in Hot Springs. Deer 365 can number one, grow horns. That we've proven. Number two, Deer 365 can hold deer. At the filming of this video, we have successfully held deer at five different locations on camera sites seven months, and they're still staying there. But the number one factor that you need to consider is nutrition. That's the most key important factor, and that's what we've done with Deer 365. Everything that deer needs year round is in this sack. They come to the smell, and they stay there and eat it. So hey, all I gotta say is get Deer 365. We start from the ground up. I mean, if you need concrete blocks to get your footing started all the way to the roofing on top, go inside and we got your plumbing, we got your electrical, uh, your hardware items. We try to do it all. No matter if you're the home builder or the uh, do-it-yourselfer, we've got everything you need to complete your project from lumber to shingles to drywall and insulation. We just, we try to be a good hardware store and a good lumber company that's locally owned. This next segment is brought to you by United Country Hometown Realtors with offices in Arkadelphia and Glenwood, Arkansas, also serving hot springs and the surrounding area. From Texarkana, we flew into Anubic and then we boarded a cargo plane. Now this plane has no flight services, bathroom, or heat, but it's the only way you can get to the island of Banks. And yes, that's the airport, complete with the ice runway. The folks landing here gives you a butt pucker factor of about 10. You know, Saks Harbor is a population of about 122 people, and the income is mainly from hunting expeditions. Three-fourths of the world's muskox live right here on Banks Island, and it's also the largest goose population in the world. You know, most of the supplies sent here on Banks Island are sent months in advance on a barge before the Buford Sea freezes over. Everything else is flown in on a cargo plane uh, about once every 10 days. Folks, you don't go visit the Arctic without 
getting to see the igloo. This in here comes complete with a ice window. Let's go in, guys. Uh, usually there'd be a bed on either side. And you say it's usually two feet deeper so you can stand, right? Yeah. That's pretty neat. And, uh, usually they wouldn't leave an igloo standing in way back when because they believed uh, evil spirits would come and live in the igloo. Oh yeah. So before they'd leave they'd break open the top and just leave it. Huh. But this is just kids yeah. having fun I guess. Yeah. Huh? Pretty neat. Keep the tradition alive. I can say I've never been in an igloo before but yeah. now I have. It's pretty cool. Got a window. Yeah. <laughs> And single one, pane. <laughs> one candle would keep this place really nice and warm. Oh, I bet. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, hold on. All right, hold on just a second. This is where I'm going to ride. I have a little bed made out. Hopefully it won't be too rough. So we only got some pillow cushions. This is muskox hot. So try to keep it where it's not so bouncy. Now what Keith's showing you is that we have to ride in a sleigh for about 40 mile trip to find the muskox. After about an hour, we see our first herd. So we unload and get ready for the hunt. For all you folks that's looking for a private, secluded horse ranch with highway frontage close to a major resort, well here it is. Located on Highway 7, just north of Hot Springs, Arkansas, is a one-of-a-kind property. You know, when you drive through the gated entry, you can tell this is going to be a special property. The groomed roads leads into a rolling hills where you'll find a large structure. On one end is a two bedroom, two and a half bath, 1800 square foot home. With vaulted ceilings and a large kitchen that opens up into the main living area. The master bedroom is huge, complete with a walk-in closet and out the front door is a huge covered porch with views of Lockett Mountain and your own private lake. You know, you can walk out the back door into a fully insulated 5,700 square foot shop. And if that's not enough, there's a four stall horse motel complete with electric roll up doors. Sitting just down the hill is a hay barn with an area ready to install more horse stalls. The pipe fenced area is over 15 acres. You have room for several horses and cattle. And now if you're a hunter, the owner has left a lot of wooded area. This attracts whitetail and turkey. And check this out. You have your own private lake with a boat ramp. This lake is over five acres with several springs and it's about 22 feet deep, even in this uh, drought that we've been having right here in the state of Arkansas. Now all this sets on about 200 acres. You know, another plus to having a ranch like this is that it can be subdivided into four or five acre tracks. Now folks, for a private showing of this property, I've personally been on this property, great property. Give me a call right here at United Country. When we're at Geared Up, we're really pleased with the type of tractor that we can offer the public. We can start with a 22-horse subcompact tractor, and it's a four-wheel drive diesel. Well, here we have a 28-horsepower in a compact series. Again, four-wheel drive, three-cylinder Mitsubishi diesel. We can go from that 28-horse to a 36-horse in a 16-series, and then it moves up to the 
35 series, which are just heavy duty tractors up to a 50 horse. And then we can move into the comfort rigs, which are the geared, we can get geared or hydrostat with a cab. Now, if you just joined us, we're in the far Northwest Territory on Banks Island. I'm hunting with my son, Keith. Hey, we're hunting muskox with bow and arrow. It's 40 degrees, low zero. Okay, folks, what we've done, we found a herd of them right over here. We're gonna to try to stalk around and, uh, and see if we can get one out of the group. They don't like the situation and move to another ridge. Okay, folks, there are two right up there. We're gonna sneak up over this hill and see if we can get on. See if we can get on them. We're gonna try to sneak around and get a good shot on them. They're an aggressive animal. As you can see, there's nothing to hide behind, nothing to get behind. So it's gonna be one of those, one of those deals that you hope you can outrun your camera man. Okay, Keith, come on back here. The top of him right there. Okay, we got one facing us. We got one broadside. We'll take the one on, on the right. This one to the right. Down. <laughs> down <all right. laughs> I'll tell you what, I have never, I've never seen one of these up close. We were talking about the other day. Guys, come on in here. Man, I'll tell you what. Hans, thanks for putting us on this. Uh, guys, well, we appreciate it. <laughs> thanks a lot. You said we'd get some, just hang in there. After that cold ride, we was hanging up, and I was, I was covered up most of the time, and y'all was seeing, what did we see on the way up here? Some Arctic foxes? Some Arctic fox. And, oh. Some Some owls, and, then, owl, yeah. and then we've seen this whole herd way back there, and then we got, was able to get up on them. Look at this thing. Huh? Very Look gorgeous, at that. Oh, I am. I have never seen. Look here, this here has been fighting a little bit. Yeah. Floyd, well, they, they, these things, they hit heads out yeah. here when they're. Oh, I've never seen that. I'd like to see When like they're in right, thing. you can hear them hitting from a mile away. I mean, it's really? just unbelievable. Yeah. Well, you know, we caught these two out here, and and uh, just like y'all said, if we get them together, they're gonna butt up and, and kind of, what well, they do, defend themselves? Is that what they're doing? Yeah, anytime they take a defensive posture is one of the things that muskox do. When they feel they can't run no more, then they protect all the, uh, all the uh, young ones and the uh, females in the herd and the biggest, most uh, aggressive bulls usually come out. Well guys, thanks a lot again. Yep. Now that's what else can we do? How do we get this thing going? 
We're gonna take him and uh, just skin him out right here, huh? Yeah. Yep. All right. Take a little more of work, but. Get all your Camel Tack products made in the USA right here at 2rmules.com, including saddles, bags, pads, breast collars, and head stalls, all kinds of panniers. Everything, our heart and our goal is to find products that are reasonably priced for the everyday person, but yet still made in the United States of America with uh, quality stitching, quality product, so that we can feel good when we're on our animals, we can feel proud about what we're doing. Well, well, you know, if you've been trying to sell your property without any luck and you're ready for a change, you know, call us right here at United Country. Not only do we have the state-of-the-art marketing technology, we've got trained professionals. You know, any licensed um, agent can sell a home, but we take it one step further. You know, we, uh, we know real estate, all types of real estate. You know, well, for the rancher, we know what AUs are. We can talk about load capacity old fence lines, you know, and for the farmer, we know the difference between gravity flow and circle pivots, understanding water rights. Well, I, you know, as for the hunter, well, that's my life. You know, I was a scientific breeder for whitetail uh, back in 1992, and I've uh, been a, a big game guide uh, around the world. In fact, I've hunted the world. You know, there's not much that I haven't done when it comes to hunting. In fact, uh, I was a co-host on a number one hunter safety video with Nolan Ryan, Will Clark, and Barbara Mandrell. Well, bottom line is that we're trained in all kinds of real estate, not just home sales. You know, we got the best marketing strategy uh, in the real estate market. And plus, you know, we have our own TV show. And what I really want folks to understand out there is that if we can't sell the property, they owe us nothing. And well, that's what I want folks to know about what I do in real estate business. We take care of you. We're here, Milton, on the banks of the Caddo River, right outside Glenwood to look at this house. It's 1,800 square feet. Come on in and we'll give it a look. We got a open floor plan with skylights up, up in the top, it's cathedral ceiling. Got a dining area here. Okay, in the master bedroom, mm -hmm. we have a cathedral ceiling, large bedroom, and then off this, we have a beautiful bathroom. In all, we've got three bedrooms, mm -hmm. two baths, a utility room off the garage, mm -hmm. and we have a beautiful tiled countertop kitchen, all the appliances, island bar, and the corner window, you can also see the Catter River from the window. Mm -hmm. And then we have the den with a fireplace mm -hmm. that you can see the river out of the den area. If you like to entertain, right off the kitchen, there's a two-level deck with a retractable awning. And Milton, this is a two-level deck that you can walk around, come down, that wraps around the whole back side of the house and you can see the river from any position you get in. Mm -hmm. Has a little place over here for a sun deck even. The Cata River is uh, noted for its canoeing, kayaking, and bass fishing. Mm -hmm. uh, there's probably 200 canoes a week put in at Glenwood that float down the river. They have a beautiful walkway built all the way down to the water. Let's go down and, and check this out. We floated this river, can't tell you at the times, and fished and swam, and even with the summer being as dry as it is, mm -hmm. it's still, you can see it's still running. You got your own little gravel bar over here you could clean out, have a place to grill, swim. It's just nice. Got a little show up there and one here. You can put traps in here and catch minnows. Wow. And fishing down there is a, a deep hole of water right down there that you could actually catch a lot of fish right in there. Put a swing on the little tree. It's pretty, pretty. Very, very private, right? We've got almost seven acres here on the Cata River. We got 340 something feet of waterfront. Uh, so if you're looking for a place that's very private, a peaceful retreat to get away from the city life, bring your children, grandchildren, cook out, swim, fish, this is it. So give us a call. 
Now, if you've got hunting property and you've been trying to sell it, give me a call. We're looking for properties right now. We have several people wanting all types of hunting property, especially duck hunting and whitetail hunting. So, hey, we can put it right here on our TV show at no cost to you. Now let's get back to the program. You know, this is probably one of the most unique pieces of property in the state of Arkansas, setting just down the road from Lake Hamilton. Let's go look at a ranch. This secluded 56 acre parcel sits just off Highway 290 near Hot Springs, Arkansas. It's the perfect place to build your dream home or horse ranch, and it's within walking distance of Lake Hamilton. This lake was created in 1932 when a power company dammed up the Washita River to produce electricity. This 7,460 acre lake is the most popular recreational lake in Arkansas. Water skiing, boating, and fishing are limitless. You have attractions like the 400 passenger Bell of Hot Springs Riverboat that offers dinner and dance cruises. You have amphibious land to water sightseeing tours. Lake Hamilton offers plenty of places to rent boats, and when you're ready for lunch, you dock your boat at one of the many restaurants on the lake. Much of the lake is ringed with condominiums, resorts, motels, and private homes. It was all wooded when we bought it, and uh, we loved it. Right by the fish hatchery, nobody can build beside you and all. And uh, they have little things for the children out there as far as fishing. Everybody shows up on spring, catch a big bass out there or something, you know. And you know, you're going to be assured of privacy because the property borders one of the most successful sport fishing hatcheries in the nation. With 42 ponds, they provide around 3 million fish to the lakes and ponds of Arkansas. On this, on the 56, we've got uh, three ponds, mm -hmm. and uh, they've got fish in them and all. I've never stocked them, but they got them. <laughs> I'd say I've had some people come out and fish, get some nice basses, right. and there's some catfish out there. And uh, actually, we uh, we lived right here and uh, in a mobile home when we bought the property and went to clearing it. And it's got good well water, excellent wa well water, no iron or anything. 200 feet well. Uh, it's got a submergible pump. And there's a uh, septic tank and all right here. And we have a barn right up on top of the hill and it supplies the water for that also. And uh, I guess we moved here about 89 when we found this land and this is what we wanted. And it was all all woods, hunting woods, and we come in clearing it. Uh, we, we had horses, well we still got horses, and we, and we had more then. But uh, that was our horse barn, and we had five stalls and, and uh, paddock area on the outside where they can come in and out. Um, it's also got tie downs and, and uh, wash rack for horses and, and a stanchion for horses and uh, arena. It's got lights out there. Um, that, that's actually a, it's a pretty large arena. It's a 200 by 200. The barn is 100 by 75, and it's got four doors. To it. You got three on the front, one in the back, and then a walk in door. It's got a tack room in there. You know, this property make a perfect horse ranch or private residency or an investment for the future. If you're looking for a, hey, a great property right here in Arkansas, give us a call. Deer 365 can number one, grow horn. That we've proven. Number two, Deer 365 can hold deer. At the filming of this video, we have successfully held deer at five different locations on camera sites seven months, and they're still staying there. But the number one factor that you need to consider is nutrition. That's the most key important factor. And that's what we've done with Deer 365. Everything that deer needs year round is in this sack. They come to the smell and they stay there and eat it. So hey, all I gotta say is get Deer 365. You know, here at United Country Hometown Realtors in Arkadelphia, Arkansas, we're known for listing some very unique properties in the area, like the Hamilton House at Hot Springs, right on Lake Hamilton. Let's take a look at this property. 
You know it's going to be a special place when you drive through the wrought iron gates. This 10,000 square foot mansion features five elegant bedrooms, two of them with master suites, all with marble tubs. It has full commercial kitchen, commercial dishwasher, a walk-in cooler. It has an atrium type dining area, marble floors from Mexico. You know, most of the furniture that was put in this home back in the 30s uh, is still here, like this original chandelier. You know, this two-story mansion has four levels in it. This is what I call the, all the, I guess the piano room. It leads into the bar area in there. And then, of course, you drop down here and it leads out into the famous 80-foot tunnel. You know, the Hamilton house has all kinds of history, and it's said that Van Lyle, when he built the home back in the early 30s, that uh, he built this tunnel leading from the home that's up here down about 80 or so feet into the front of the water here because his wife, she was one member of one of the Follies, and she liked to do skinny dipping. It's hearsay, but then there's also hearsay that this was used to do bootlegging. Who knows? Let's go outside. You know, it's a heavy duty door right here that's got a big lock on it. And this comes out, folks, right on the water's edge. In fact, it's setting about two foot off the water here. And uh, as you can see, maybe in the background, that's Highway 7 up there. So you see how close it is to the major entry to Hot Springs. And if the flagstone deck is not enough for entertaining all your clients or your wedding party, uh, we've got another wood deck overlooking, hey, sitting right above the lake right here. You know, and located right here by the boat dock is your very own swimming beach with, uh, of course, the sun uh, deck right here where you can get in the water, out of the water, slide down into the water. I tell you, that, folks, this place is all about privacy. You know, there's a lot of history here at the Hamilton House, like this old anchor. It was actually one of Teddy Roosevelt's off of his of the Great White Fleet back in uh, 1907. The history of the, of the Hamilton House dates back, you know, it started in the late uh, 1920s and is the first home that was built right here on the lake, Lake Hamilton. To all of you, from all of us, we give you three wishes. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Happy New Year, and we wish you find your freedom. Happy Holidays from here at United Country Hometown Realtors. Thank you for a wonderful 2012 and we look forward to seeing you in 2013. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from all of us here at United Country. Can't wait to see everybody in the new year. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from us right here at United Country Hometown Realtors. Look forward to seeing you in 2013. From our family to your family, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hope to see you in the year 2013. As you can see, we've got a crazy crew right here, United Country Hometown Realtors, but it's led by Mr. Brown Hardman. That's the reason it's a crazy group. But anyway, we wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and we'll see you in what, 2013? 2013.